Hi, I'm Andre Pfizer. You are a divine and intelligent being. Whenever you say you're going to do something, your atmosphere remembers it. Uh, whenever you promise yourself something, your atmospheres remember it. You know what it's like when somebody make a promise to you and break it, and after a while you begin to lose trust in them? Well, sometimes your, your subconscious will do the same thing for you. Our own broken promises to ourselves, unfulfilled intentions, and idle talk, which means purposeless and vain talk, uh, shallow talk, surface talk, purposeless talk, talk with no intent to accomplish, talk, just simple talk. Your atmospheres remember them. And when your atmospheres remember the idleness of what you say and what you think, it'll hinder you. Your loose talk will hinder you more than any person can. Whenever you promise yourself something or you have unfulfilled intentions and unmanifested goals, your thoughts won't release you to the new thing until you accomplish the old thing. You have to pay the debt for sabotaged self-promises before you could move to that new horizon. You just don't go. God does bless us, but you have to finish what you started or you have to clear the debt. Articulate something, a payment plan with your loose talk to release you to the new place. You follow what I'm saying? You are a powerful being. That's why your talk creates atmospheres whenever you speak. And it doesn't affect anyone else, but it will affect you and it will affect your future. So don't just have idle talk. Don't just talk purposeless just for the sake of talking. Don't just make commitments without finishing the commitment. Don't just promise to do this and you don't do that. Don't just set, let somebody know you're going to do this and you don't do this. No, you don't get those type of reprieves. You have to pay the debt of what you said. And then you will be released to the new horizons in your mind and your thought. Am I making sense to you? You are a powerful individual. You are a creative individual. But if there are a lot of idle ends and purposeless thoughts then you're, dis, uh, you're abusing your power and you're causing yourself to be in prison. And you don't want to do that. You know what it's like to hold somebody else in a mental prison when they break their confidence and break their trust with you. Well, when you break your confidence with yourself by loose speaking, your subconscious remembers it and it says, I don't trust you anymore. Maybe it's not people holding you back. Maybe it's your own spirit's distrust of what you do that's allowing you to be held back in this conundrum. Maybe it's not the lack of money. Maybe it's not the credit rating. Maybe it's not what people think. Maybe it's not the rumors from other people. But maybe it's what your spirit is saying about you that's causing you to be held back. You understand? So get it right with your spirit, articulate your intentions and follow through on them and see if the door opens to a new horizon. I'm Andre Pfizer. Peace.